Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Our lesson today is a project part 2 from module 7. You can find this lesson in your student's book page 85 and in your workbook pages 74 and 136. As always, let's start with the learning objectives. In our lesson today, you will be able to Write the first draft of a film review Revise and edit the first draft Write your final film review Every film is only as good as its characters And every piece of writing is only as good as the proper following of the writing process. In our lesson today, the characters of the film will guide you to how you're going to do it. Let's get started with the first step, which is pre-writing. In this step, you're thinking of your topic. In other words, you're brainstorming and organizing ideas. But before we start brainstorming, I'd like you to think about what is a film review. Very good. It's an article that gives information about a film, the director, stars, type, events, etc. Let's start brainstorming ideas by completing the table with information about a film you like. So what do you think you have to write in this table? Yes, you have to write the title of the film, year of release, type of film, main characters, director, and opinion. Now pause and complete. Back again, let's check your work. Nice work everyone! Before you start organizing your ideas, let's start by recalling the basic features of a film review. In paragraph 1, you have to answer the following questions. What is the title of the film? When did it come out? What type of film is it? Who directed it? In paragraph 2, you have to answer the following questions. Who are the main characters? What happens in the film? In paragraph 3, you have to answer the following questions. Why do you like it? What was your favorite part of it? Why should people watch it? It's time to organize your ideas using the writing plan in your workbook page 136. In this exercise, you need to complete the writing plan by answering questions for each paragraph. Let's start by answering questions for paragraph 1. Let's move to the next paragraph and answer its questions. Let's move to paragraph 3 and answer its questions.
Now that you have a plan, let's move to the next step, which is drafting. In this step, you have to write your first draft. Remember to write complete sentences and paragraphs. Now pause and start writing. Back again. Let's read your first draft together. Toy Story 4 2019 is an animated adventure film. The fourth in the Toy Story series. The director of the film is Josh Cooley. The main characters are Woody, Buzz, Forky, Jesse, Rex, and Mr. Potato Head. In the film, Woody, Buzz, and the rest of the friends embark on a road trip with Bonnie and Forky. Forky is a new toy. The adventurous journey turns into an expected reunion as Woody's slight detour leads him to his long-lost friend, Bo. As Woody and Bo discussed the old days, they soon realized that their worlds are apart when it comes to what they want from life as toys. In the end, Woody decides to choose his own happiness and being with Bo. He doesn't go back to Bonnie's toy box. Toy Story is a fantastic film. It's very funny and full of action. The film was very good. It was long. It's a lovely way to spend an evening. You should watch it with your siblings. Don't forget to tune in. Having finished the drafting, let's move to the next step, which is revising. In this step, you have to read your first draft and make changes to improve it. To do this, you have to use the DARE strategy. Before we start revising, let's start by recalling what do the letters in this word stand for. The D stands for delete. Delete any unimportant information. The A stands for add. Add details and linking sentences. The R stands for rearrange. Stick to the topic and have a logical order. The E stands for exchange. Exchange words for stronger ones. Let's start revising. I'd like you to read and delete any unimportant information. Great! You don't have to delete anything. Let's continue revising. This time I'd like you to add a relative pronoun. But before you add it, let's recall what are relative pronouns and when and where do we add them. Relative pronouns take the place of nouns or pronouns. They are called so because they always relate back to something or someone else. They are used to join two sentences about the same person or thing, such as who, which, and where. Now let's practice using them. Open your workbook page 74, exercise 2. In this exercise, you need to read and complete the sentences with the correct relative pronoun. Let's do number one together. Dory the fish doesn't remember things very well. Now, look at the word fish and tell me, what is it? Very good, it's an animal. Now, as you all know, we use which to refer to animals. It's your turn now, read and complete. Back again, let's check. You guys are amazing. Now let's go back to your article and add a relative pronoun. Very good. You can add which instead of the word forky. Let's continue adding. This time we will be adding although or however to contrast ideas. Now read and add. Perfect. Another word we can add is so. 
and remember we use it to show reason. Now read and add it. Very good. Having finished adding, I'd like you to read one more time to see if you need to rearrange any of your sentences or paragraphs. Great! You have arranged your sentences and paragraphs correctly. Let's move to the E and see if we can exchange any word for a stronger one. I'd like you to substitute the word fantastic for another one. Very good. You can use the word terrific. Having finished revising, let's move to the next step, which is editing. In order to edit, you have to correct any spelling, punctuation, and organization mistakes. As you all know, to edit, you have to use the COPS strategy. Let's recall what do the letters in this word stand for. The C stands for capitalization. Capitalize the proper nouns I and the first word in each sentence. The O stands for organization. Use neat handwriting, letter spacing, and complete sentences. The P stands for punctuation. Use punctuation marks. The S stands for spelling. Spell words correctly. Let's start editing. I'd like you to read to check if you need to capitalize the first letter of any word. Very good. You have to use the uppercase of the letter M in Mr. because it's a title and because it comes before a name. Let's read again to check the organization. Super! You've organized your article correctly. Read again to check the punctuation. Yes! You have to use an exclamation mark after the sentence don't forget to tune in because it's not a question and because it indicates a strong feeling. Let's read one more time to check the spelling. Very good. The suffix ness in happiness is spelled as N E double S. Having finished editing, let's move to the last step, which is publishing. In this step, I'd like you to create a neat copy of your corrected writing. Now pause and start writing. Let's check. What a nice work, everyone. Having published your article, it's time to give you some feedback about your writing. I'll be using the yellow hat to tell you something I liked about your writing. The black hat to tell you about something you should be cautious about and the green hat to tell you how to improve this issue. I really liked how you stayed on topic and how you sequenced your ideas logically. Yes, using linking words. It would be great if you practice using linking words more frequently. As always, you are amazing today. Thank you so much. Bye.